Oh dear, we have something that we're showing you from earlier today. Uh, this is something that not many people have seen before this and hopefully will not see again <laughs> in a long time. This is uh, Steve Stedman, uh, the director of the show, who's on the outside. Uh, he was disqualified from this race, I'm using the term loosely. In the middle in the green silks is Kenny Rice, our crack interviewer and sportscaster. And in the brown silks you will see shortly when she catches up with the rest of the tube. Uh, Miss Sharon Smith. Yes, I didn't do any uh, justice to Delvin Miller's silks, which well, is what I was wearing. Delvin Miller's silks will withstand the assault today, <laughs> I'm sure. One of the things that people don't understand is that you have to get these horses started. They don't start by themselves. There is uh, Mr. Stedman, and as we say, he's so completely outclassed and dominated the competition <laughs> that he was disqualified. But these two well-matched trainers and drivers, Miss Smith on the inside, and uh, Mr. Rice on the outside are at this point almost single-handedly destroying the breed uh, as far as its reputation for speed. You this know, is the point we were mentioning. Go ahead, Miss Smith, you in defense. No, I was going to say that my colt was much more interested in chewing on his bit than anything I was able to get him to Well, do. both of these horses were obviously interested in the sights of Florida. They certainly are not interested in racing, although Kenny Rice at this point suddenly has stimulated his horse into a burst of speed. And, and that won. contest went on, and except and for the fact that tonight's show was necessary, they would still have been going around on the track. Well, I'll tell you that's true, because I had a, a terrific time, even though my horse was slow. Was he slow? I'm certain both of you, the horse and you, will remember it for a long while. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now, let's